The Day of Atonement is October the 8th, two days from now. Of course, today is October 6, 2011. We have experienced some unbelievable signs in the heavens, signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars during the Rosh Hashanah and the Feast of the Trumpets. Very prophetic. I want to show you there's going to be a drachnid meteor outburst. And of course, drachnid meaning dragon. And the Bible says in Revelation that the dragon will try to devour the man-child. And this, this is going to be a huge meteor outburst that's going to take place. Um, and it will happen on the Day of Atonement, which is the Sabbath is Saturday the 8th, um, that does talk about, though, this beast, I mean, this dragon trying to, and the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, talks about, and we've been talking about the, the constellation and what's some, known as Virgo, and how the, you know, the, the sun is going to be at the woman's shoulder, clothed in the sun, and the moon under her feet, which is exactly what's taken place in the constellation of Virgo and also the her she's going to be with child and the, and the groaning pains to be delivered and of course we got Venus in her womb during the constellation okay now it, the Bible also says that I saw a great dragon having seven heads ten horns and he drew his tail and the dragon is ready to devour the for the child as soon as it's born this great dragon is the devil it represents all right, that's Isaiah, tw I mean, excuse me, Revelation 12. Well, this drachnid meteor outburst that's going to take place on Saturday or the Sabbath, October 8th, the Day of Atonement, could be as many as 750 meteors per hour that's going to be going by the earth, unbelievable amount. Uh, and, but in its best visible, to, to see them the best, place to be on earth will be the Middle East, North Africa, and parts of Europe. So keep that in mind. Jerusalem will get a very good look at this. Uh, also, the comet, and I can't say its name, it's uh, Jacob, Jacobiniah Zener, so let's just call it the Comet Zener. The Comet Zener is going to actually go by the earth also during this time, and this, this comet goes by the Earth every 6.6 .6 years. Well, that's going to be taking place as well during this time of the atonement. So let's keep an eye on these signs. You know, the Bible did tell us in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and Jesus was asked about different signs. And he said that uh, uh, there shall be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. But first, you've got to go back up and read Luke 21, 23. It's very significant because we're talking about the constellation Virgo, we're talking about the sun clothing the woman, and that's where it's resting on her shoulder in the constellation. The moon is at her feet. And uh, here's what the Bible says in Luke 21, 23. But woe unto them that are with child, or the woman's getting ready to travail. I just read it to you out of Revelation. And to them that give suck in those days, childbearing taking place, for there shall be great distress in the land. What's going on right now in the Middle East? If you don't think there's distress in the land of the Middle East, uprisings, goodbye to Kabul. He had to go over there in the Ivory Coast. And then Tunisia, Tunisia overthrew their leader. Jose Mubarak, gone from Egypt. Muammar Gaddafi, gone from Libya. President Assad is going to go, it looks like. What about President Ali al -al 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 Saleh of Yemen? He's going to go. And some of the others, Bahrain, Algeria, we're not sure. All right, so it says there's going to be great distress in the land, the Middle East, the Palestinian wanting to be statehood, the threats against Israel, Syria just yesterday threatening to send missiles into Tel Aviv, Benjamin Netanyahu threatening to blow Damascus off the face of the earth, which is Isaiah 17, 1. It's just not good. The Intifada declared by Syria, Syria and Jordan and Egypt and uh, Lebanon. Okay. Distress, in, great distress in the land and wrath among the people 
and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. So here comes war, and we've got war in Afghanistan. We got war in Iraq. We've got war going on in in uh, Libya. We've got war going. We got uprisings. We got murdering and mayhem, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and there shall be led away captive in all nations. Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Now, I'm going to show you a video of two sons, it looks like, setting over the land of Hungary. And before I do, look what the scripture said in Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations and perplexity. Again, he talks about that. The sea and the waves are roaring. And men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And read the next verse. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Are you there? What should you do? Faint and have a heart attack? What? Pitch over? Huh? Uh -huh. Elizabeth, the big one, like uh, Fred Sanford. No! Here's what you should do. Don't have fear in your heart. You should have faith. When you see these things begin, Jesus said, and they come to pass, then look up. <laughs> for your redemption draweth nigh. Let's, let's take a look at some stuff, okay? Will you work with me? Uh, let me just uh, go there real fast. I want to show you the uh, two sons that set over hunger. I actually got some videos sent to me. Stephen of Oklahoma. What? Yes, Stephen of Oklahoma. I've heard from Reverend Gary. He's, he's seeing all kinds of signs going on right now. Uh, people are everywhere. Two Sons Filmed Over Hungry. Now, this is by um, a website called BeforeItIsNews.com, and they cover some stuff. They, they get out ahead of stuff. A lot of times they do breaking news. They're out ahead of it. Uh, and so here they are with a, with a film. So we're going to pull it up and let you see it. But when you think about the distress and you think about all these things that's happening on the earth, I mean, you can't help but... Uh, but wonder what's what's going to happen. What why why aren't we seeing? Why aren't people aware of what's taking place? All right, let's go there now. Okay, Paul Bagley technology. What? Do it. Okay, okay. Let's not let's not drop it today. All right, all right, all right. I think you can see it pretty well. Slide over here. It's two sons over Hungary. You can read the headline. Let's go down to the. Um, there it is. Now watch the video of this. And at the ending, you will start to see a smaller sun. I don't know what it is. Is it Venus? I don't know. Okay, don't, don't yell at me in if I don't know. That's some nice music with it, you know. You're going to see the sun. Of course, the sun's right here, but watch this. You're going to see a second is it a planet? Is it Elenin? I don't know. And maybe you guys can make comments on the video here and tell me what it is. But it's coming up. Over Hungary. As the sun is set. There it is. See it? There it is. Now watch it. It's definitely a, a separate light. You can even see the reflection of it. Watch this. I mean, what's up with that? Two sons over hungry. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? That is two sons over hungry. I don't know what it means. Maybe it doesn't mean anything that spectacular other than another sign. Earlier this year, I showed you two sons setting over China. It, there's videos right now of two sons over the uh, rising over Hawaii. There's been seen two sons over Scotland. It's very rare, but it does happen. So with the, we have the distress. We have the meteorites coming on Day of Atonement. We have Ellen and it was during the Feast of the Trumpets. We got Ellen and it's going to be closest point to Earth during the Feast of the Tabernacles. I'll be back. We got more to talk about.